Hi guys, welcome back to Freeze Drying Mama. So if you watched my video on moving and how to get your stuff like reset up, um, the things I had to do to make sure it was ready to go again, I'm probably gonna do an update on that just so you know because I have, still have to run a load. However, I wanted to show you what chaos was in my freezer. I had, my, my freezer was completely ready. I had, was able to put my trays in there. It was on a really great system. But since we moved and we've been here about four months and we've still been trying to get things organized and whatever, I finally decided that I need to get back to freeze drying um, because my hoarding tendencies, as people call it, my food storage prep has actually been, um, I, I told my husband, okay, I'll wait to buy any more food storage items until we move. And we started that back in, uh, back in June of last year. Um, I, we didn't move until November and I didn't make another food store. I made my first food storage run in December. So it's, it's March, April right now. And so it's been a few months and I've been collecting food storage items. My freezers were pretty full. I were pretty empty when we moved. So I need to get started. So right now what I'm going to do, um, my other one looks exactly like this. Okay. Like almost identical, except I think there's two pizzas on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to be starting with the vegetables. Um, I, I love Brussels sprouts. I'll be doing Brussels sprouts, broccoli. I'll do the peppers and I'll work my way through those. All of the vegetables will go first and that's on both sides. And the reason for that is because they're fast. They go very fast. Broccoli is about a 16 hour load. Um, Brussels sprouts take a little bit longer, maybe 20, 21 hours. Um, and then I'll be working on things like my own prepped onions, um, raspberries. I've got some raspberry jams. You can see where that kind of started melting at one point. So I've got lots of things that I'm going to work my way through first. And then after that, then I'll start working on my ground meats. Um, I don't like to freeze dry my steaks and my, my roasts, but I, I might be tempted to cube them and do that this time. Um, because I'm, I'm want to, I want to buy a cow down here. We live in Missouri now and everybody has these beautiful cows and oh my goodness, I want to get a cow and fill a freezer with it. So we'll see what we're going to do. Um, my mother-in-law is loves doing whip topping. I'm going to do a couple of those. I bought those and literally this is what the other side looks like too. Um, we will be doing some ground turkey later on in this month, probably, um, as soon as I get through some of these. So I've got a lot of things that I'd like to work on. I also, um, I'm going to have my daughter kind of scanned around in just a moment, but I need to explain that you don't need to have everything organized and ready to be working on your food storage. Um, our house is in utter chaos. We've had to be completely, we've had to completely remodel and gut the majority of the house. Um, my husband's working on the middle floor right now, which is our floor. So where we sleep and where we live and eat. And so I've been waiting and my whole garage is just still packed full. Um, we've got a shop full of stuff that we haven't been able to unpack. I'm eating on a folded table right now, a fold up table. So I'm not even, I don't even have my actual table. So I feel in my kitchen, um, there's a lot of things that are, that I was using as a crutch to not get back into freeze drying. But then I realized spring's coming. I've got to get a garden in. And what do I want to do? I want to freeze dry those things. This has been entirely too long to not have my freeze dryer running. So I'm going to have my daughter, um, she's going to step back a little bit, ignore the sweatpants. I'm not doing pants today like regular pants. I'm just wearing my, my West Valley gear. Um, go Eagles. Um, so you can see here, I have these, I'm going to start doing grow containers. Um, I'm going to do like gardening in these containers. I'm doing the leaves for the bottom mulch and then I'm going to do dirt. The reason this is important is because I have to start, I have about 20 of these. She's, she can't scan them all. Um, there's my cat. She's a star. She's a little diva. So, um, what I'm going to do is I need to start planning too what I want in my food storage, what I'm going to plant. So I know that I'm going to pick up some strawberries from um, a sweet little girl, family friend, and she's a, she's awesome. She's doing it for her own business. I'm going to pick up strawberries from her and I'm going to fill a gutter with them um, that I'm using. And then I can look in here and be like, okay, I have broccoli, I have peppers and onions, but I don't have tomatoes and I don't have, right? So I have to make a list of everything I've got and everything I want to grow and put into my food storage. I'm only doing container gardening because we, like I said, we're working on the house right now. The garden will maybe go in next spring. I don't know. It's all, you know how everything is right now. We don't know what's going on, but I refuse to wait on my food storage anymore. Um, because my house is, my life is a, is in a chaotic eruption. I have to make room for that. So if you're waiting right now and you're like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Take the, take the steps because trust me in the next six months or so you're going to wish you had. Um, find your neighbors that are selling eggs or are growing chickens or grow some yourself, get some cows going. 
Um, goats, do whatever you can to get started on your food storage. And the springtime is the best place. I buy my seeds from Baker's. I'll put their link in. Um, you can also get some from Morgan C County. They're amazing here in Missouri. Baker is also in Missouri. Um, Burpees is phenomenal as well. And I know a lot of them have still have stock in. So that's what I think you should be focusing on is getting your food ready and your organization ready of how you're going to prepare it. Some things we want to can. Bacon is great to can, not so great to food storage or to freeze dry. Um, start getting your freeze, freeze dryer ready. If you haven't gotten your freeze dryer yet, I can't wait to hear when you do decide to get it. Um, some good friends of ours just, ours just ordered theirs and I'm super excited to see them um, set it up and get their freezers emptied. I think she said she has like four or five freezers and I'm like, oh, I have freezer envy. Is that okay, you think? Is that weird? Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working on um, and I'm gonna be taking you on that adventure with me, but that's where I'm starting. I want fast, furious loads out of here. I wanna empty as much as I can. Like I said, they both have the same stuff. We like bro broccoli, broccoli and Brussels sprouts, like a ton of it. So we're doing those a lot. Um, make sure you have, oh, my head is just spinning with all of the things. Um, cheese, we're gonna be doing cheese, all kinds of things we've got coming up. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'm trying to catch up with all that. And I just appreciate you guys so much for being here on this journey with me. And I'm gonna go get a load started and get finished getting Frosty hooked up and see if I can't get started emptying my freezers. Thanks you guys. And a big shout out to my daughter Taylor for doing such a good job on being my camera girl. She's awesome sauce. Uh, hit subscribe and the notification button and let's get started. Thanks guys.